Today we are going to learn about MSH15 which is nothing but accept acknowledgement type and you'll understand how crucial it is in the day-to-day -day basis of HL7. So I just took one sample SMS from online and you can see over here in the MSH15 when I click over here it is accept acknowledgement type and the field it says AL. So AL is nothing but always. So when I hover it over here you can see there are like multiple options over here. AL is nothing but always, ERS error rejection conditions only, never successful completion only. But what is the meaning of this particular uh, option, accept acknowledgement type? So when it says always, it should receive back the acknowledgement from the receiver always. So I'll go here and I'll just drag down when we send the code as AL from in the sender of this particular MSH15 field. I'll type it over here MSH15 the receiver should always send an acknowledgement back act back okay that's how it works but when I type ER over here and select it in this case the receiver the receiver sends acknowledgement only if an error rejection occurs means if there is any error in this particular message the receiver is going to send the acknowledgement or else he is not going to send only in case of errors so again it is the same message 15 I'll just copy it here so that's uh, how the coding works so for any message uh, in real time not only HL7 when you are sending it from sending application to the receiver the receiver will again send back acknowledgement to sender that it has been received that's how all the communication internet protocol dns ip networking everything in the world works so similarly for hl7 when something is sent by the sender the receiver should also re receive it and he should ac send an acknowledgement and based on the acknowledgement again sender will be sending the next message as we learned about the sequence numbers in the previous uh, sessions of msh so it is very important uh, concept to get acknowledgement back so when I say about acknowledgement what you will get in acknowledgement MSA segment where you get all the required details error details or anything yep let's jump back into this so we covered a AL ER and there is another one I'll just hover over here you can see never means when I type any you are never going to get any acknowledgement so it's not like never you can say you don't need it not needed you don't need any acknowledgement so the sender and receiver should uh, have a understanding on this that uh, whether they are going to send the acknowledgement or not but this code represents this particular uh, themes only in case of errors only in act back and there's another one we are looking over here so which is nothing but successful completion only su so you might not see this in the hl7 standard sometime but yep and these are all like modified so SU only only when the message reached destination successfully only when message reached successfully okay and you can ask uh, can I change this code from ALE or any to some other custom codes absolutely you can change but your receiver should understand that custom uh, changes which you have done so these are completely changeable so I gave explanation here when it is AL the receiver must always send an acknowledgement any the receiver should never send an acknowledgement ER only the rejection cases so let's look uh, how the acknowledgement looks if you are new to HL7 I'll just show you one sample acknowledgement case let's go back so if I am sending this particular message over here okay and I want an acknowledgement for this particular message and that acknowledgement might look like this so I'll just zoom out zoom in to make sure we are getting yeah perfect this is an MSH segment okay and you can see we got an acknowledgement back with the MSH segment over here the MSH would be almost same the same receiving uh, application and like sending details but over here you can see the sending application sending facility would be reversed over here because the the receiver is sending back to sender so the names would change it's it's a very important question uh, if you get in the certification or like uh, interview in the M, in the in the acknowledgement 
the sending and uh, sending facility would be reversed similarly the receiving and receiving facility and the time would be almost same depending upon the server speed and everything and it's same uh, it's ADT4 A04 over here it is acknowledgement A04 so by this also you can understand this is an acknowledgement and the control ID would be same the processing ID would be pre and even the version would be same so the thing you should understand is like the HL7 version which you are sending the acknowledgement should be also in the same version so these are very very important points when you are receiving an acknowledgement and you can see it is MSA A over here so when I click over here I'll just remove this part for understanding purpose yeah this is MSA segment and you can see there are like lot of acknowledgement types over here which we are going to learn soon in future courses so when you click over here you can see an answered uh, mode application acknowledgement and you can see in the second part it's a control ID it will help us to track the acknowledgement also sometime third is message definition even you have a lot of other fields which we are going to learn for tracking there you can see expected sequence number in our HL7 message original HL7 message if we had any expect uh, sequence number that will be coming in an MSA 4 so for example if we go here and as we discussed in the previous videos about the sequence number it's 01 so this would send back uh, generally 02 to it okay so that's how uh, things work so in most of the MSA segments uh, MSA acknowledgement you might not see all the fields because when it is required it will send back when it is not required it will not send back so in this case the sequence number was not required but in the previous case if we are sending the sequence number it will send it back so there are a lot of interesting concepts so it's not uh, blindly they designed this pipes special characters and encoding characters there's a reason for each and every particular special character over here and you can see again missing definitions missing definition message waiting number and each and every uh, field as as its own character but uh, MSA is limited to only few fields if required we can add few more fields but yeah this is limited few fields uh, where we get all the details how the message has been errored out and everything so yep let's go back to our original topic uh, we are going uh, too deep uh, regarding the acknowledgement so we will jump back to our yep course of uh, MSH 15 accept acknowledgement type you might ask like why there are so many codes uh, couldn't we have one single code where it will say sends back the acknowledgement the thing is like the sender decides whether he wants the acknowledgement or not in this case the sender wants each and every message to be acknowledged in this case the sender doesn't want other messages which are passing successfully to be acknowledged but only the errors he want to identify so every uh, application has uh, their own requirement mainly this acknowledgement codes are used for error handling when we get especially any specific errors we will generally look in the ACK whether we got the ACK or not and we will just check back so I will just uh, paste the ACK over here yep something like this it will look I will paste the ACK over here yep so depending upon the requirement we will change but most of the time when we are uh, getting some errors we specifically go back to integration engine and check the message acknowledgement and try to understand what is the problem and you can easily identify the errors with this particular code over here we are going to discuss what is this MSA fun code okay so yep uh, for laboratory patient admissions there are like different uh, types of acknowledgement enhanced code ac acknowledgement and everything which we are going to learn in future but yep MSH 15 is still an important thing if you really need the acknowledgements back in a specific way thank you hope you got some idea about this particular MSH uh, 15 we'll discuss about uh, application acknowledgement type in the next video thank you